Good morning everyone! We are in the Arctic in Chicago today. It is a nice minus 5 Fahrenheit, so it's about minus 20 degrees. The good thing is that we're having smoke from the lake because it's so cold that even the icy cold water actually looks like it's smoking. So that's gonna make for a really cool shot. I'm on the 2470 lens. I know, might be the lazy man's lens or not. And that's something I kind of want to answer today. I want to share with you my feelings shooting with the 2417 those conditions. Let's start shooting. We have a few ideas with very boiling water. I want to get also that smoky water with the city in the background. So we're ready. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, my face is freezing, but most importantly, my hands are already freezing. It's only been five minutes that we're outside. I tried to turn on the GoPro, totally dead. It like turned on and went like, see ya, it's too cold. Dre's gonna fly the Mavic Pro 3. You like it? Feels good? Yeah, since the update is better, for sure. It's, it's better because he has a full review if you're interested on it. And I'm trying to get a few shots. I like that we have a quarter moon. That looks really cool. And I'm gonna try to go over there because I think it looks really cool with all the, the smoke coming up. So let's try to get some shots, but I don't really know how I can record and shoot at the same time. Oh, oh your eyelashes are frozen. Look at this, guys. His eyelashes are, oh my God, your eyes are going weird too. I love that on those days you always have a bunch of photographers out there. Look at that. Everyone's there. And okay, 2470. The only reason you would get that lens is if you didn't want actually to have to swap lenses. In those conditions, you don't want to swap lenses. So what you do, 2470 is gonna be able to get a bunch of range. Already got a few different kind of shots. Look at this guys. Whoa, it's pretty deep. And look at that ice. And you know, this is exactly why I'm dressed like that. I have my ski pants, they are green. And my top has, doesn't match or anything. You're going for comfort and survival over fashion right now. Oh, this is gonna be good. The sun's gonna rise over there. Look at those ice peaks. Ah, oh, so pretty. All right, the sun is peaking. Guys, what's your name? David. David. Anna. Anna. David and Anna are like warriors coming here to shoot too. <laughs> I love it. Look at this. I can't barely operate, but I'm gonna try to get some shots. Okay, let's see. I'll put you guys here. What an experience, it's insane. Look at those like patches of ice right there. They're all moving with the smoke as if it was a hot tub. And the sun came out, it looks magical, honestly. And the few photographers that are out there are also passionate, definitely to come out in that weather, but it's so worth it to do it at least once. You might lose a finger or two, honestly. But yeah, I'm on the 2470 still. I haven't changed. I cannot change actually because it would mean I have to take my gloves off and uh, go in my backpack and I really don't want to do that right now. I'm trying to even get some b-rolls of the smoke coming up. Looks really really nice. My hands are frozen. Like I can't feel the tip of my finger almost anymore. And that's with big gloves. Try to get something. Look 
at this. This looks so good. Now, let me ask you a serious question. Would you like to earn some money with your extra photos and videos that you're taking? Well, today's sponsor, Wirestock, has a solution for you. Wirestock is a platform that allows you in a simple way to sell your photos, videos, vectors to major brands, marketing agencies, and stock content marketplaces. For example, on Shutterstock, Adobe Stock, Pond5, Alami, Dreamstein, and many more. Basically, you upload everything on their platform and they automate the submission process, including all the keywording and captioning for free. This is a huge time saver. You might be wondering, do I pay for this? No. There are no subscription or flat fees. They only charge 15% of the paid royalty, which means they only make money when creators make money. And as a bonus, they also get higher rates and better discoverability. So if that sounds interesting and you want to learn more, go to wirestock.io or hit the link in the description. And with that being said, let's get back out there where 2470 and our freezing hands. Woo! All right, guys, Joe is still alive. And we have a little surprise because Joey, what did you bring today? Hot water. Hot water! We're gonna throw it in the air, and if it's cold enough, it's gonna come down as snow. If it's not cold enough, he's gonna burn himself. Yeah. So, this should be interesting. I'll be taking the photo. Three, two, one, go! Oh! Beautiful! <laughs> We're gonna do it the other direction now. Let us know what you think. All right, guys. So this is what Joey has in plan. He literally wet his pants and then put them to freeze outside for just like literally three minutes. Look at this. I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do. What are we gonna do, Joey? Something. Something fun. While Joey is doing his thing and shooting those pants in the background, I wanted to say the 2470 is a very interesting lens. There's something that I really don't like about it, I'll tell you in a second, or like that's a big drawback. But the good points is that first you have that incredible range, which makes it super easy to shoot. <laughs> Did you break your pen? It makes it super easy to shoot in a lot of different conditions. Aside from that, for example, we're going to French Polynesia. I loaned that lens in order to actually get the shots. Jeremy is going to be filming. He can zoom in and out easily. No brainer. You have f2.8 aperture, so you can also shoot really well in low light and get some nice bokeh. But it comes at a cost, and that cost is simply the weight and size. I think it's heavy, it's big, it's bulky. You don't go very discreet in the streets uh, when you're traveling with the lens like that. So that's really something, a trade-off that you have to think about. Look, when it's fully extended, it's a little big. So is it right for you or not? It's gonna depend really on your needs, but if I had to travel with just one lens, maybe I, I would do that. But I would feel less comfortable than with a 24 Prime or something a lot smaller. Yeah, so that's kind of my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you have that 2470? Do you use one? Do you have a 2875 from Tamron also that I heard is really good? Let me know in the comments. And guys, I teased it last time in the video, but I finally found something exciting with NFTs and prints that I want to be sharing. I think a very unique way and that fits perfectly what I'm doing. So stay tuned. I think we're going to start during French Polynesia. All right, Joy seems to be done. Are you done? Yeah, look at this. Oh la la! Oh la Magic. la! Get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new. Try not to freeze your hands and toes. And let's check what Joey shot. 